We've known for a very, very long time that low vitamin D is directly equated to a low uptake of calcium. And what is bone if not calcium, you know, one of the major bone, uh, bone building uh, minerals there. A dentist has to think of himself as a doctor of the oral uh, cavity. We are not just mechanics, we are doctors of the oral cavity. And as such, if we're going to do complex surgery, let's measure vitamin D, let's supplement, and let's just add that extra measure to our patients, allowing us to not just be dentists, but also healers. So we've been testing at the White Clinic for about four to five years, our patients pre-surgical. And Despite living on the West Coast in a sunny region, we are finding that a large portion of our adult patients are vitamin D deficient. So there's a lot of data on this and you can just go online and Google vitamin D deficiency, search it yourself. So we all know that sunshine, it's important for bone formation. And of course, people now are covering up. They're wearing sunglasses, they're indoors, they're on their screens, and we don't catch enough sunshine. And I recently published an article um, with members from my team and uh, some colleagues from Italy and in the US and we understood that low vitamin D levels could increase in implant failure in early stage placement. If you are going to go through this complex procedure of extracting a tooth or using uh, a bone building material like Cerebone Plus or some, and you're doing all of this craft and you've taken a 3D CBCT and you're manipulating membranes and screws and flap design, all of that. Why not take a vitamin D test prior to initiating that whole process? And I would say that vitamin D is the most simple, basic way of really caring about your patient. But indirectly, by measuring and boosting your patient's vitamin D levels, you're protecting yourself against failure. And the feedback, at least with my patients, has been incredible. And our success rate has gone through the roof since we've done this.